Welcome back to our October Heritage series for Steam Club Online. In this video, we're going to look at how to take some great photos for the discovery wall. Now is the time to ask for help. Who in your family or your community could help you in your project? If you need some company, some transport, someone to be in your photo or someone to take the photo of you, it's a great time to talk to them about what you've got planned. Make sure to ask for permission before taking photos of other people or their things. Tell them the photos are going to go onto the discovery wall, which is public. If they're not okay with that, that's fine. Just take photos of something else. Remember to take notes of what and where you've photographed because you'll be able to use this information when you upload your photos to the discovery wall. No matter which device you use, there are three things to keep in mind as you do your photo shoot. Number one is lighting. If you're outside, position yourself so that the sun is either behind you or to the side. The image won't usually look good if the sun is in front of your camera. If you are inside, make sure that the object you are photographing is well lit. You might want to use a desk lamp, if you have one, to add extra light to the scene. Number two is angle. Consider how the position of your camera impacts the image. Looking down on an object, for example, can make it seem small and insignificant, whereas looking up at the object could make it seem bigger and more powerful. And finally, focus. It's really important that the object you're photographing is in focus. On most devices, you can tap on the screen to determine the place you want to focus. Tap and hold to lock the focus in a specific place. Finally, take lots of photos and have fun. In our next video, we'll look at how to choose your favorite photos from what you've taken. 